you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post two tme exam or any other chemistry related exams how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says in the reaction of oxygen now this must be noted we we'll underline oxygen in the reaction of oxygen with hydrogen we take note of hydrogen because these are the elements involved in the reaction to produce water now here's the question which of the following is true about the reaction of oxygen and hydrogen to produce water now it is very very easy to answer this question is extremely very easy what you have to do you have to listen carefully now first of all before we go ahead to you know solve this question i have to basically explain two terms here oh yeah two terms the first of them is when a particular element is in atomic state and also when a particular element or a compound is in molecular form so these are what i want to talk about first of all i will explain to us what the term atom actually mean and also what the term a molecule actually mean now i'll be using hydrogen as a case study now listen carefully you can see that hydrogen here is just symbolized as h seeing this how do you think this hydrogen will be pronounced this hydrogen i'm looking at right now should be pronounced as hydrogen atom because it is just hydrogen standing on its own but now for we to get a molecule okay it must be made up of at least two atoms coming together so this is what i mean h bonding to h h joining with another h when this occur what do you think we have we'll get h2 so how do you think this will be pronounced this should be pronounced as hydrogen molecule are you following me it is very very easy so moving further with this said you, you tell me in the comment section what o should be pronounced as and also o bonding to another o forming o2 what this should be pronounced as as well but as i solve this question i'm still going to talk about that so let us progress to solve the question okay this question is about reaction okay it is about what reaction now listen carefully they said that in the reaction of oxygen with hydrogen so first of all here is it hydrogen as an element reacted with oxygen to produce water and we already know the chemical formula of water water chemical formula is h2o now whenever all of these elements are to be involved in a reaction they should be in their molecular form not their atomic form not that particular element standing alone so what is the molecular form of hydrogen as explained now h2 so hydrogen should be like this this occurs most times in non-metals are you following me if it was a metal we'll just write it like that without putting any number in front of it are you following me this most times occurs in non-metals please listen carefully so on this hydrogen h2 i said that it should be in its molecular form whenever it's to partake in a reaction so hydrogen now you know now how do i pronounce this hydrogen molecule listen hydrogen what molecule will react with what all two as well because i said that they should be in their molecular form so hydrogen molecule reacting with what oxygen molecule and i believe you know whenever hydrogen oxygen combine it gives rise to h to o i believe you know how this was gotten whenever hydrogen molecule react with oxygen molecule it give rise to water which is h2o so looking at this reaction carefully it is not balanced we have to make sure that this reaction is balanced and how do we do that it is very easy we have to check the elements one after the other in both sides this left hand side is the reactant side 
whereby the right hand side is the product side so on this looking at hydrogen how many atoms of hydrogen do we have i believe you know what an atom may now so looking at this we have two atoms of hydrogen looking at the right hand side in the water part how many atoms of hydrogen do we have in water two atoms so hydrogen is balanced now moving further here we still have to check the other species in this reaction which is oxygen if it's balanced so if oxygen is not balanced then we have to balance oxygen and by doing so it might affect the hydrogen that was already balanced so in summary at the end of balancing the reaction we must make sure that both the hydrogen and as well as the oxygen in this reaction are balanced. So watch this video till the end. Let us check for oxygen. Oxygen here is two atoms of oxygen. Looking at oxygen here, how many atoms do we have? One atom. So oxygen is not balanced. For we to balance oxygen, it's wise for us to put two in the front of water. Putting two in the front of water, two will affect every element found in water. Two will affect hydrogen and also two will affect oxygen. So on this, oxygen is now balanced because we have two oxygen to oxygen. But here, atom increased because it's going to be how many? Two times two, two times two, making it how many atoms of hydrogen? Four atoms. But here, how many atoms of hydrogen did we have? We have two atoms. So to balance this, we put two in the front of hydrogen here so it's going to be two times two as well which is four atoms of hydrogen in the right hand side four atoms of hydrogen here for oxygen two atoms of oxygen here for oxygen two atoms of oxygen so you can see now we've successfully balanced the reaction so let us interpret this reaction so we can check what we've what we've interpreted to see what we've said is in the option to see which of these statements is actually true about the reaction so listen carefully now remember i said that whenever whenever we have a single element standing alone it should be pronounced as that element atom so symbol h is hydrogen atom but if it is h2 is hydrogen molecule now listen carefully are you not seeing that this is hydrogen molecule without the two yes but now to be specific how many hydrogen molecule do we have here for instance, two was not here. How many hydrogen molecules do you think we have here? Just one hydrogen molecule. But now, two was added in front. So how many hydrogen molecules do you think we have here? We have two hydrogen molecules. Two hydrogen what? Molecules. So that is that. So, um, let's check. Uh, option A is one atom of hydrogen. Is this even correct? Is this one atom of hydrogen? No, it's not. One atom of hydrogen reacts with two atoms of oxygen okay so basically how is this one atom this is not one atom this is two molecules we've said it already no atom here in a reaction remember i said that they don't combine in the form of the atomic state they should combine in the form of their molecular state i've explained this initially so this is two molecules of what hydrogen okay reacting with what one molecule because we are just in one no no number so we just take it to be just one molecule of what oxygen gas so moving further to give rise to without these two it is just one molecule of water because you know a molecule is made up of the combination of two or more atoms of different elements so this is two atoms of hydrogen and this is one atom of oxygen combining together it will give rise to a molecule do you understand but now two is in the front of the molecule which is water so we have two molecules of water I believe you understand now. So we have how many molecules of water? Two molecules of what? Water. So let's see the options that corresponds to all of these. So option A is talking about atom. When I just see atom, I'll know that it's wrong. No atom here because in a reaction, you know, most especially reacting non-metals, they should all combine in molecular form. So moving further, option B says one molecule of oxygen, one molecule of oxygen, right, react with two molecules of hydrogen, react with two molecules of hydrogen to give 
two molecules of water wow so what we said corresponds to option b so so option b is the statement that corresponds to the reaction looking at option c one molecule of oxygen correct react with two molecules of hydrogen correct to give three molecules of water is it three molecules i was gotten no it is two molecules of water option d none of the above so i believe you know how this question was solved so have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my video lessons with your friends thanks for watching